hell she got going? It starts off with these badass little kids playing in their neighborhood in the 70s. It's a 70s hood movie, Spike Lee hood movie joints. It's almost summer vacation and all the kids turned up. They playing all the best childhood games outside. Red light, green light, box rolling down the street. Okay, what the fuck is this? Are you thinking sumo wrestling over yeah, what the corn? The 70s was weird as hell, bro. was that game? Little ass shorts. Oh, hell no. Trey Lee. Bro, y'all think we're reaching. Bro, she definitely did not move. I watched it back. Yeah, she cheating. Her ass cheating. Cheater. So many times. That's crazy, man. Y'all cheating. Y'all not playing right. I would have went in the house after that, 100%. But everybody's having a good ass childhood, it looks like. Delroy Lindo comes outside and calls all his kids in the house for dinner with his big ass Lord of the Rings horn, 1970s. Does everybody's dad have a horn like this? That uh, pissed me off with that horn. Hey, I was using the bus. Shucks now. Every time we sit down and eat, there you go. Not tonight! Bye. What is going on in this house? I got dogs. two glasses of milk right here, a bunch of rags and shit. It's like a bunch of indie horror game assets. Who is living like this? Also, this is the same dude from the Warriors. That's hilarious. Fun fact. Mother it is. Clinic so this is a Spike Lee joint. I said that already. Yo, this cash. particular joint is based on Spike Lee's childhood growing up. All that damn sugar, I know that motherfucker heat. <laughs> Yo, all that's crazy. Up with his siblings in Brooklyn. These all his siblings. They like five deep. Which one is Spike Lee, dude? Oh my god. Is it this one with the bifocals and the musty ass Knicks jersey? Oh man, I wonder who Spike Lee is. So this one's name is Clinton, which is pretty close to Spike Lee's real name, Shelton, Shelton Lee. My I'm about to fry this out you. Lee. I can't believe this. Who the this you Spike? Name is Shelton Lee. Nah, right, we'll come back to it. I gotta move on. I like how he made himself tall and shit, by the way. Your ass ain't fooling nobody, Shelton. But this is the Carmichael family here. Woody Carmichael, he's the dad. He's a struggling Damn, musician. He don't got no fuck. job, but he loves his kids. He a wholesome, broke movie dad. The mom, Carolyn, is a teacher or something. She's played by Alfred Woodard, of course. If you're making a 90s hood movie and you need a black mom, she's one of your only choices, really. Bro, I'm... Damn, that nigga got the holy trinity right here, nigga. He's not lying. Nigga, this, this is the trio. Who is he calling me? I'm live. Sorry, brother. Can't answer that. <laughs> You got like three choices. How long did her hair even take, bro? These are some tiny ass braids. And there's like 40 beads on each of them. She's like Mike Wazowski girlfriend. Woody and Carolyn have five kids together. Clinton is the oldest. Spanking then got that salt on his he the fattest. Then this broken arm, yo. He got the weakest bones, I guess. Boy must have had weak bones. Joseph is the youngest and Troy is the girl. And they all a happy family. I don't know, what do you want from me? <laughs> So the mom and dad go out for the night and they tell all the kids to clean up the kitchen before bed. They don't do it and they get their ass beat in the middle of the night. It's hilarious. It's so relatable, right? Well, good, because there's no plot in the movie. It's just random shit like this. Black off you. This is no hotel. I will no slap them teeth into the mm. I'm crazy because I got five of y'all that have run me stark raving mad. Man, I'd rather have a father than a mother any day. Yeah, any day. What'd you say? The next morning, we meet more of the neighborhood now. Tony Lala is a singer, but he can't sing. Bo King Woodbine is a random NPC. This nigga and everything, bro. He like Trace hooks about all I my need a favor. My wife says I don't hit the mangles right. I need you to film us. 
tape with her I'll pay you money so you can post it to Twitter. To anybody that's new here. Bro, I just got here, bro. To anybody that's new here. I don't move like that, bro. I don't know where he get that from. Also, now that you mention that, I'm not gonna lie, that tape drop. <clears throat> I'd be a liar if I didn't say I didn't go peep the tape. But I'm telling you the truth right now. I could not watch that. That shit was cringy, bro. That shit, no cap. I'm not gonna act like I'm above anything, bro. I could not watch that shit, dog. I'm sitting here like, bro, look what this nigga let his wife do, dog. And then I, I would skip to a part. I said, I'm out, bro. I'm out. They got to the guy. I put this on my life. I couldn't watch that shit, bro. I was like, bro, look what this nigga letting his wife do. This is nuts. I'm out. And also, I've seen a nigga academics did a live reaction. It's getting nasty out here. It's getting nasty out here, man. How you gonna do a live reaction with play by play commentary? That's nuts. That's nuts. You got the local junkies here. Everybody calls them the possums. They sniff glue or something because the 70s. They put some glue in a bag and they sniff the glue. Is it that serious, bro? Go get some weed, man. It's the 70s. I mean, it is more legal to do this than weed, I guess, right? That's crazy to think about. Adam Ball, also, right, yes, Lambo this is Spike Lee right it? here. Bro, I don't know. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I could not move like that. And obviously, I know we two different people. I'll be yes, Lee. But boy, ain't no, ain't no way you watch that video. Ain't no way you watched it and was like, yeah, nah, this is cool. Are you nuts? <laughs> Stop. Floating upside I down. Can't. Going off the What the fuck is that? Where's he all star? You got some money from right hand in my man, man, snuff. Give it up. <laughs> Damn kids broke my shoe, man. The kids playing outside what the hell again. Is this movie and about? It's really fun. They playing one of their all time favorite 70s games, Spin the Cat. With some of these badass the little fuck? kids, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he threw it on her ass. <laughs> ah, that nigga bad as shit. <laughs> ah, that nigga threw it on her ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeet! <laughs> oh my god. This kid right here has a crush on Troy and he's always picking on her and throwing cats at her. He calls her Troy the boy and other hilarious catchy names like that. That's a really funny name. It's got a good ring to it. He a good bully. And hey, you stop following me, Greg. I ain't following you, Troy, boy. Look at this nigga. Why he moving like them? How old Why is this old nigga, ass man? nigga hang with some like kids? -some. Why is he hanging out with these little ass kids all day? Go nah, to work. Nigga, creepy. I don't like the 70s, bro. Nothing makes sense to me here. I wish they never happened. So it's dinner time again. Everybody already ate and finished their plates. Everybody except for Broken Arm, yo. He don't like black eyed peas, but his mom says he won't get no dessert until he eats them all. Bro, that'd be the worst shit, dog. Before you willing to accept vegetables, Yo, Guapo, I'm gonna need you to back up. Didn't Shorty say her shit was sore for a few days? Nigga, ain't no fucking way I'm letting my no, Shorty get I'm dropped off and nothing. I ain't making the six o'clock news. No, Everybody bro, that's what I'm that saying. Everybody that see the upper room. That's, that's what, that palm colored shit. Bro, that's what I'm, yo, Shorty was like, yo, yeah, it hurt it. 
Don't you ever tell me what hurt it, bitch. Oh, bro, that'll fuck me up, bro. Don't tell, babe, don't tell me what hurt, bro. Oh, my goodness. Oh, bro. I couldn't be with her no more, bro. Yo, go to a Sam gang. I'm sorry. Oh, man. If I like her for real, I don't want to see you with nobody else, bro. That's dead. I'm not into that, bro. Come on, mommy. Why I gotta eat this? Everybody else likes it. You're gonna eat. They all crazy. So, there's anybody. I got ice cream and salad. Yeah. You get nothing till you finish the feast. Oh, yeah, bro. When your parents make you goddamn Ooh, yum, yum. eat best when you ain't want to, oh my god. It tastes good food. Scrumptious Bruh, this hella peas, though. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's too much. Come on, bro. What, what? Why you give that nigga this many black eyed peas, bro? Even if you fuck with them. And them bitches just sitting on a plate. What a rice set or something. What a rice. It's just black eyed peas. Three fourths of a plate. It's like a mountain of peas. Give this nigga a break, man. Nobody can eat this many peas. That's impossible. <laughs> This nigga bag reversible. Yo, the nigga interviewed the nigga and he asked the nigga. That nigga was like, yo, man, if you were in the other situation, like, well, do you see a problem with what we did? The nigga was like, nah, man, I don't see a problem with it. But if it was me, I wouldn't do it. So since you skipped my last dono, Mr. Tracer Love, are you going to help oh, me? I'm sorry. So oh. please, I need money. I skipped it because you asked me to do that nut shit, nigga. No, I'm not going to help you. The skip was my answer, nigga. No. No, and you know what? I seen you type donate, and you fucked up the first time because you put a W at the end of donate. Usually, I never see when people do that, but I peeped you. You should have stopped when you did that. You should have stopped. You should have stopped. Stop me. The fat one is taking out the trash now after dinner. He starts chucking that shit onto his neighbor's porch for some reason. Why are you doing this? The these are the worst doing? kids ever, bro. I'll smack the shit out of these kids. Okay, all right, little mister, I saw him. Window, what's wrong? This big man's accused me of things I didn't do. You are a menace and a disgrace. This you can clearly see the trash on my, on my shit. Entire block. The Board of Health ought to shut you down. Listen, you call yourself a mother. You call yourself a mother. Don't get your finger out of my face. You want to keep him in cell with him alone. I thought you killed my mother. You killed my mother. You know what happened. If Carmichael's are renting out a room upstairs to this nigga named Vic, he hears all the commotion and he comes down to de-escalate the situation. He's pretty good at it. Meanwhile, Troy goes off to the store by herself. Yo, Koi! At night time. What time game? is it, bro? Appreciate it's you. Shit. She's like nine years old. She tall as hell. He looks short as hell. Yeah, this is clearly just a collection of random memories from Spike Lee's childhood. Yeah. Like, there's no point to a lot of this shit. There's literally the hell was no cereal. Random memories from Spike Lee's childhood. Damn, nigga, Frosted Flakes look crazy old, my nigga. Look at Tony on there. They got Raisin Bran looking crazy. Cocoa Puffs, oh my God, them bitches look crazy. Nigga, look at the bird on Cocoa Puffs. All this shit in reverse, too. Like, there's no point to a lot of this shit. That chocolate milk used to hit. There's literally nothing happening in this movie right now. It's like this for most of the movie. We get some more slice of life moments from the Carmichaels. The boys are in here watching the Knicks on this chunky ass color TV. Troy's in the bathroom stuffing her bra for some reason, wasting hella toilet paper. Use a sock or Yo, something. I'm Nigga, why ass. are you so close to the TV? That's why you got them big ass glasses on. This nigga look like Napoleon Dynamite. No bullshit. I'm like a like Napoleon Black Dynamite. Turn the goddamn TV off. I'm watching the Knicks. I don't care what it is. No TV on a school night. Get the screen while she wants. I'm watching this game. <laughs> 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 
The family is planning on taking a trip now that the when summer is officially game, we here. Wait, their plans get cut short, though, when this city worker shows up to cut off their power. Oh, and that's sad. Sad hood poverty movie. Church, 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 church. Mini. Yeah, we are. Uh... We having some financial problems right now. You paying you good money for rent and I ain't got no damn lights? Well, now that's what I'm saying. I can give y'all some candles. This episode of Crimson Cinema is sponsored by. Hold on, check out my title. It's Friday. While I'm gone, I'm trying to fix this damn chat, but I know Guapo said try a wide spot or some shit like that. Money. Some of the kids get shipped off for the rest of the summer. Now, Troy's gonna be with cousin Mola. Nate's gonna be with cousin Sam. I can't wait. Finally, have some peace and quiet in the house. How many times you gonna sing that same old song? Wait, y'all don't like my song? No. Bro, what happened to this nigga eyebrows? Was there a deleted scene or something? He definitely had eyebrows earlier, right? Am I tripping? Nah, he got eyebrows right here. What happened to your eyebrows? What is this? Somebody get him some eyebrows. Yo! They get to Maryland and they're dropping Troy off I here with their aunt song. All right, this is definitely the dog food lady from Good Times. Remember, she was eating the dog food on Good Times? I'll never forget that. Curly, we heard that you, cause I couldn't afford better that sometimes I eat pet food. Well, I do. I ain't gonna lie. Damn, shit, get that hard. I gotta eat dog food, nigga, on me. I'm turning punch made. Hey, man. I'm about to, I'm listening to every one of them songs on God. <laughs> Why does shit look like this? Nigga, it's like a damn dream or something. You sure got a clean house. Oh, isn't that cute? Why does shit stretch like this? Lord, Troy, you don't know how happy we are to have you here with us. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Let's go inside, Troy. Mommy, Come on, Troy. Baby. Let's go inside, baby. So the whole time when they're in Maryland, the aspect ratio changes, and it's just so jarring and weird. It's hella stretchy, like- I thought Prim did this, no way Spike Lee did this. A funhouse mirror? I used to think something was wrong with my VHS tape when I was younger. Why is it like this, Spike Lee? Is this how you remember Maryland? I'm from Maryland, bro. It's not that stretchy. You trying to do IMAX or something? I don't get what you're doing here. They having fun watching church on TV, Playing Miss Mary Mac or whatever is sucks. going on here <laughs> in the country. One, two, three. The devil's after me. Oh, Troy, I like this song. He's always throwing sticks. I like the color boy and he likes me. So step back, white boy, you don't shy. I'll get the color boy to kick you behind. Oh, oh. What is this racist ass nursery rhyme? Oh, this ain't Miss Mary Mac. So if you thought there was nothing happening in the first half, there's that. really nothing happening in this part. I could have done without this whole Maryland segment, to be honest. It derailed the whole movie. Is what the hell did they rate this movie? What the hell is this movie rating? Seventy nine. What the fuck is this movie? Boring as fuck. It's too stretchy. That don't even sound like a real criticism. Your movie is too stretchy. How did we even get here, bro? What made you do life? that? I'm so curious. Nigga, I'm living life. Comment your theories down below. I'm Troy is warming life. up to the country a little Literally bit. Wood, she likes hanging wood, out the, with her the, aunt the song and movie. their dog, Queenie. Uh oh. I like this Somebody movie, man. Hide the I'm sorry. Now, if I watch the movie, maybe I might like it, but this summarization is making this movie sound terrible. Also, too, if I would watch it at Jesus the time, Christ if I would have He's the Orin Yalo G. If you know, you know. That's a chant y'all niggas was doing in DMV? What fuck is that? I'm not watching that damn video. The fucking dog food, man. You know how her ass be. What up, King said Nah, three? that's not funny. I'm sorry. After a little while, Troy's mom writes her a letter updating Remember her on everything going really. on in the neighborhood. Dear Ladybug, 
Happy birthday. Yep. All the boys are still on the stoop playing stratomatic baseball. Every morning, Tony throws trash from his sidewalk in his yard onto our stoop. What the hell you think you're doing? Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. <laughs> and now about your father. Man, why the daddy have to have his concert tonight? The same exact night of the NBA championship. Dang. God. The dad Dang. has this weak ass piano concert he's been trying to put on. Nobody fucking with it, of course. Of course. The fuck is you, Beethoven, bro? This is that real music you've been hyping the whole movie? I'd rather listen to this stinky. I ever find that you changed it. Why you house stink, man? Hey, this is a long ass letter, Loki. I feel like we've been on the Maryland bro, segment for like two hours now. Why did he this do shit this is boring, shit? man. So the dog goes missing and Aunt Song starts freaking out and she need a Scooby snack or something. I'm gonna stop doing that. This is somebody grandmother, bro. I know she don't really eat dog food. They give up the search at the end of the day and now that it's time for bed, the dog finally pops up. They sit on that dog. I know, I know damn well. I know damn well. They didn't sit on that dog. <laughs> that little nigga jumped up. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh. She trying to laugh. The one in the middle. Yo, this, yo, this, this, this aspect ratio make their heads look long as hell. Hey, bro, did you do this? How did this happen? Who folded the bed up? Guarantee she did this shit. She a damn psychopath, bro. Troy gets homesick and they send her dog killing ass back to Crooklyn now. Her aunt and uncle come pick her up from the airport and they tell her that her mom got sick while she was gone. That's what I'm saying. Once you hit this Maryland scene, you might as well turn the movie off. It just gets boring and sad after this. The rest of the movie is dealing with the mom's death. Sad, boring hood movie. Your mother's sicker than we thought. What? They found cancer. Damn. Stop, Bill. I it's gonna be all right. Damn. Nigga, this is scary I I ass song. I think I Freddy Krueger type beat. Ain't this before. basically the Freddy Krueger song? One, two, three, he coming after you? Ah, whatever. The movie's pretty much over now. Jory gotta step up and be the new mom or something. The dad goes out and finds a job too, finally. Nah, I'm joking. That part ain't happen. The mom leaves Troy with one last message from beyond the grave. Then everybody huddles around their chunky ass TV and watches Soul Train. I miss you so very much. Well, you turned out pretty good considering you were raised in a house full of ashy, rusty butt boys. As another manic depressant, adolescent stares at death. Now what's left? I think this is a pretty decent coming of age type movie. I grew up watching it, so there's a lot of nostalgia here. Yeah, this is not a good movie to summarize. Here <laughs> for me, but I still think it feels really genuine. They paid a lot of attention to the little details. The family feels like a real family. I just wish it was more focused. It did feel like a bunch of random disconnected scenes sometimes. The kid actors were pretty great too. I think that's what really made me like the movie. I haven't seen any of them in anything else. Zelda Harris was in He Got Game with Denzel Washington. Everybody else, I haven't seen them. Sadly, the kid who played Clinton passed away in 2003. Damn. He's only 24 years old. Damn. That's hella sad. Recipes, Carlton Williams. Here's a fun fact. There was a deleted scene explaining what happened to this nigga's eyebrows. Apparently in the scene, the family's oven exploded. It really happened to Spike Lee's family, but they cut it from the movie for whatever reason. They really should have let niggas know, man. Now, why would you just cut the scene while his eyebrows are gone? Man, I was so confused this whole time. Just a line of dialogue or something. Another fun fact, that brownstone they lived in just went up for sale recently. 
for $4.5 million. That's insane. I hope some of these black and brown people are coming up off that. The movie could have been a lot better. It could have been a great comfort food type Brownstone, of movie. Especially. Yeah, but I know. that second half is I'll just boring as hell and sad. Like, I'll just watch the first 30% of the movie, and that's good enough for me. That's it, though. Thanks for watching. I do want to do a more action-packed hood movie next time. Leave me some suggestions in the comments. Imagine me paying $4.5 million, and I can turn my head, and I see a house literally right next to mine. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. <laughs> if I'm paying 4.5, nobody better be around me. Nobody, nigga. I'm talking about my shit better be tucked away. What the fuck is you talking about?